Many of these women had never touched an automatic weapon before this training session. What are you doing with your right hand? <laughs> Students, computer programmers, graphic designers, their professions have no connection to the battlefield. But they know Ukraine's army needs more soldiers. Women could soon be called up to join. They've stepped forward no matter the risks. The guys on the front line can't stay there forever. There needs to be a turnover. I know there's a risk that I won't make it back. It's a sacrifice. The more I train here, the more I grasp that I may die on the field. There are 60,000 women in the Ukrainian army, including those who work in the administration and in health services. That's 23 percent. Not all women feel they can enroll. Olena is 56 years old. As a trained doctor, she has been asked to enlist. I'm afraid. I don't want to enlist. I want to keep taking care of my parents who are elderly and my husband who's sick. I think I'm more useful here when I treat wounded soldiers. Anastasia is one of the doctors serving in the Donbass front line, holding the fort until new doctors arrive. It's a disaster. Of course, few people are still prepared to leave their jobs and homes to enlist. But we don't have a choice, even if it's hard. Ukraine has limited options. Everyone here knows that in Russia, authorities keep enlisting new troops.